have a new kaiju in kaiju universe today and it's almost like a sea monster mixed with a dragon from what i've seen it was pretty crazy and if we go look at him right now i'm pretty sure this is the manda remodel and it says that at level 20 you unlock shiryu mode i don't know what that is just yet but build energy by hitting enemies with your whirlpool shinryu mode grants extra maximum health and speed as well as charging all of your attacks into their ex variant okay so that already sounds sick and then when you get to level 75 it increases potency of all status effects and then finally level 100 draw i'm not i don't know what that is but uh, draw that underwater and keep it for some attacks cosmetic only so we're definitely going to be getting into all of that today first things first though you already know what we have to do we got to check out the skin itself because bro this bad boy at least from the the face and the horns he looks absolutely insane. I like the color mix of like the purplish slash blue. Uh, I'm not really sure what color that is. Kind of like a purple blue mixed with like the pink hair going all the way down the body into the tail. I think the model does look pretty beautiful to me. And I mean, it just looks dangerous, bro. From the, oh, where you going? Uh, from the horns and from the teeth, the little whiskers coming off the front of the nose there, bro. Let me know what you think about the model off rip. It's a linky one, I can tell you that. It's definitely the Manda remodel. Let's try out some moves. We got the number one move which is the Tusky or something like that. I think you just bite them. Yeah, it's basically just a bite. You got the number two move, which is a ginormous tail whip. You could probably hit somebody from a mile away. Look at this. That tail whip reaches so far. You got the number three move, the Hurakin. Go ahead and see. Oh, okay. So you can hit the tail whip if they're trying to run away from you. You know, that long tail whip, you can reach them from far. And if they're still running, you could go ahead and hit that number three and just absolutely obliterate. I don't know how much damage they do, but they do reach some, some pretty nice distance. You got the number four move, the Hagakur. I'm just gonna call them, you know, by their numbers. You got the number four move, which is the sword out of the mouth, bro. Hold up. So the number four, you get this, this nice looking, you know, cool looking anime sword coming straight. Hey, don't cut me with it, bro. I'm just trying to check you out. Like I said, though, you get the anime looking sword coming out of the side of the mouth. Now, does that change the move? It does. So it, it's named something new for number four now. So if you hit it again, it's a 360 with the sword, but then it ends up going away. So you can only use that move like twice. We'll check out more of number four here in a minute. You got the number five, which is a water tornado. Okay, I think it said hit the water tornado to get like an extra something in the water. I, I don't remember what it said. We'll, we'll see that again later. And then of course we have the roars right here, but still for whatever reason in Kaiju Universe, you just can't use roars, it seems. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it again. This is the T roar and let's see what happens. It doesn't look like anything. I mean, the screen's shaking like it's supposed to roar, but I, is it just me? Somebody let me know if you guys can roar in the comments. It could be just me. I don't know. By the way, let's check out that number four again. So if we hit it, do the other moves change? I think they're still named the same down there. One, two, three. They're all the same name. And if you hit it, okay, the sword does go away. But then you could hit that sword move again, and it does take out the sword to do that last 360. So you can still use it when it goes away. You also have that V move, the Henshin. I think that charges something. Up. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you basically turn into Super Shenron over here. That is absolutely beautiful. And I think this is the move that it said was strictly cosmetic. So I don't, oh, it, it went away pretty fast. All right. Maybe that's what has to do with the divine energy down there. So if you have 30 out of 30, maybe then that's when you can use like the full Henshin move. Now, what did it say to do in the water? Oh, by the way, right when you dive into the water, I took out the sword. As you can see right here, your boy took out the sword. I, I didn't press a button or nothing. I just jumped into the water and we've got the sword sticking out of the mouth. So, I mean, that's cool. I'm assuming that this kaiju is probably going to be our new number one uh, kaiju that's in the water. Let me know if there's still a better one, like maybe Volt or, you know, the, the Scylla remodel. Let me know if this is the best one in your opinion. Hey, I can tell you one thing. It is pretty fast. I mean, it's definitely fast in the water. Can it dive out of the water? That's one thing I need to, okay. It can, and it looks like just a majestic dragon flying through the sky. If you put a green skin on this, it would definitely look like Genron. Here's a question though, and it's definitely an important one. How does he fight? Right now we have him at level 100, but we don't have any of our skill points built. So we're, we're basically on level zero right now. So we're gonna do some damage to some enemies and just see if we can get some bodies at basically level zero. No skill points added or nothing. And I think we're about to get our first body right here. Okay, that was another one of the Mandarin models. So I'm not really counting that one. What about you though, Mr. Volt? I, I got a little bit lower on my HP, but it's all right, we're, we're still gonna... What about you? Okay, we got Noctera just flying on your boy right now. And we're gonna go crazy real quick. Actually, I don't know how crazy we can go against the flying Kaiju 
and then this big linky fella. I, I don't know what moves would be able to hit a fly kaiju at the moment. Oh, and of course now we're getting jumped. I don't think it would be a Captain Cappy kaiju video if we weren't getting jumped. So this guy's already, I just spawned my friend, that's it. I'm going over to a cat's domain we're fighting right now. I don't even know if he meant to shoot that at me, but it did look like it was on purpose. So let's see, a cat's versus the new Manda reskin. I forgot the name already, but let's see. Who do you think could win in this battle? We're both pretty low level at the moment. The only thing that this character doesn't have would be a move that you can hit from distance. I mean, you can hit that three move like this right here. You can launch at him, but I'm talking about like a breath or any sort of move that you could use from distance, if that makes sense. It does look like we're going to win this battle, though. So if we hit him one more time, there we go. Akatsume has taken a seat. We can go ahead and roar real quick, even though it doesn't do anything. We're, we're going to regen some health, though. By the way, we started out with 10 divine energy, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I had to destroy anybody to get the divine energy. So somebody let me know how to get that in the comments. I'm sure we'll figure it out here soon. But it can't be you have to get a body for divine energy, right? Okay, I think I figured it out, by the way. The Shinryu mode or whatever it is, you have to hit the whirlpool on enemies. You see it building the divine energy now down there. So now we're at about 14, 15, 16 out of 30. And we just got to keep waiting for this to build. And while we do, all right, we're getting chased by the hook racker. Yeah, go ahead and chase me in here, big fella. You already know in the water I am quick. By the way, we charged all the way up to 24 out of 30. So off the rip, I mean, we only hit that move one time and we're already maxed out almost with the divine energy. Oh, by the way, surprise, surprise. You want to go ahead and check out behind me? Look what's happening. I've got a whole group of kaijus chasing me at the moment. And let me go ahead and hit this move real quick. Got to hit the number five move. Give me some uh, divine energy build. We are maxed out on divine energy, but I have 600 HP. So I'm probably dead here, but let's go ahead and hit the henshin at the moment. We turn gold and it starts to, you know, decrease our divine energy. So it's definitely how you use it. But uh, it, it did say that it would increase my health and my, my other things fast as well. As it, oh my, look how much it just increased my HP. We got all the way to 2,600 in a second, bro. That was crazy. And we're gonna go ahead and fight this guy. Probably gonna die because he's pretty high level. But that's okay, because when we die one more time, I'm bringing out the maximum level of this man. It's game time. So for now, what we're gonna do is put all of the skill points into strength. And as you can see, it does increase pretty well. None of our moves do under 500 damage. And we're also gonna increase the max HP, which goes all the way up to 4,800. That's literally 1,200 more than the very start HP. All right, now that we've got the true form of level 100 Manda, AKA, okay, really? We're already getting fought. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the tornado. Build me some divine energy. This guy's kind of crazy, wanting to fight us already. As you can see, brother, we've got the maximum level. Even Okay, we are getting jumped. Maybe I should get out of here for a second. All right, it doesn't matter if you have a maximum level kaiju in this game. You already know if you're getting jumped, you're going to get obliterated, brother. There's nothing you can do about that. I even went into Henshin mode for a second. What am I doing? I'm frozen. Okay, so if you roar in the water, you're immediately frozen. So I suggest you don't do that one. But what if you aren't getting jumped? Say you jumped into a battle like, oh, great. Now more kaijus are showing up. I'm just trying to have me a battle between, like, me and one other person. Well, we dropped down that Able Cross, but he had low HP from the fight he was already in. So let's see if we can get this guy, Cleric Mudo, obliterated real quick. And if... Okay, we got a Scylla jumping in as well. Now, I can't get a 1v1 in this game. You know what? Regardless, we, we, we almost took out that Cleric, and then I got hit from the Scylla. I'm going to the new map. Maybe here we can get some 1v1s and actually see how my boy stacks up. As you can see, we've got somebody in front of us already. We got a Cleric Mudo. Would you like to battle? Okay, yes, he would. Can my boy Manda, aka forgot the name again, become one of the new strongest kaijus in the game by beating one of the strongest kaijus in the game? And he's already in that fire mode. So if we do win, I'd say that's a pretty good start for my boy. Oh, look at him running by the way right now. Oh my, I don't know what just happened to me, but I'm coming down. That, that was so beautiful. How did he just get away from that? Okay, hold up. If we just hit him literally one more time, we can defeat him. And there we go. Okay. We defeated Cleric Mudo here. And I mean, that was an okay battle, but uh, I, I would still like to do another 1v1. Hey, I can tell you one thing. In the new map, this Kaiju is going to be dangerous because look how much ocean you have. You saw me swimming in the, you know, the previous map's ocean. You don't have a lot to explore, but in this, you know, the new map, you have so much ocean. 
to just go through. So especially if you're trying to run with this character, you're going to easily get away. Uh, hold up. And now that we're at the new map, actually, you already know where we have to go. And I think we do need to become the Henshin mode when we get there. Well, let's go to the new volcano at Costa Serpent. This just looks so right, bro. A ginormous dragon climbing up an erupting volcano. I wish his colors could kind of change to match like the volcano. That would be sick. I'm sure he has like a reskin for it. But here we are almost at the tip top of the volcano. And does this look like a kaiju that could control the world, could rule the world? Like some of the other kaijus look. Personally, I think from the front, from at least, you know, the horns perspective and all that, I think he looks like he could, bro. I mean, that face in general just looks dangerous. I really wish my boy had a roar so we could see, you know, the true effect of him. But, you know, currently, Kaiju Universe, I don't know what's going on with the roars, man. They're just not working for us. What about my boy versus the military, though? Also, can you get, like, a building on your divine energy from that? Okay, no. I, I thought you could get it from the water tornado against buildings, but you cannot. You gotta be hitting that move against actual Kaiju rather than just building. So what we're gonna do is sneak up on this able cross that's destroying the city. And I'm just gonna, you know, do a little bit of damage. Okay, I'm, I'm tripping. A lot of moves being thrown out here, but the tornado is the most important move for right now. What's up, Abel? Oh, th there is a tank being dropped into the map right now. Don't tell me I'm getting jumped by a tank in a kaiju. Here I go flying again. I'm back on the ground and we got the duh. All right, that was a lot easier than the cleric mudo battle, actually. And as for you, Mr. Tank on the... On the ground. Okay, really? Take a seat. All right, so as you just witnessed, my boy, you know, the, the Mandarin model here definitely has some power, especially when he's not going up against one of the strongest in the entire game, even though we did win against the strongest. Okay, w what are you guys all ganging up right here for? They're probably going to try to jump me soon, so I'm just going to try to take some people out here. Uh, but what I am going to do is hit this Henshin mode real quick, because now that we're golden, we got the opportunity to just go absolutely crazy. We're going to get more HP here in a second, I think, right? Maybe I have to roar to get the HP. Let me see. So I'm, I'm using it right now, but it's not getting more HP. I still have 200, and yeah, now I'm dead. I don't know how that works. I think I just figured it out, by the way. So to use the, you know, the get more HP, you do have to roar. But when I zoomed in on where it comes from, it showed like a bunch of hearts. So maybe you have to give it a minute because every time I've roared, you have to stay still. So what we're going to do is build up this divine energy again. And you can, by the way, use it against tanks and build. As you can see, it's building right now against this tank. So you don't have to fight regular kaijus to do it. You could just put a tank in a tornado, which actually makes that a lot better. But, you know, if you do want to put a regular kaiju in a tornado, you could do that too. And you could continue to just do some damage to him. I don't think this guy really wants to fight, but um, I'm not going to give him a choice. Okay, maybe I am giving a choice. He is trying to run. Let's hit him one more time real quick. How did that tail whip not get him? Nah, get back here. Oh, he's trying to get through the... Nah, I tried to get him in the sky. Okay, well, clearly... You know, the flying kaijus can get away from me. But uh, the ones on the ground, we can do some solid damage to, especially now that I know how to use this healing move. What is that guy doing? And actually, you know what? Let me just use this tornado. We've built the divine energy all the way up now. So let's fight this kaiju again that just dropped me off a little early. I was trying to learn my health move, but now that we know it, it's game time. Is he running from me right now, my boy? Yeah, get back over here, big fella. It is game time. I'm about to launch at him. Hold up. Hit a little move right here. It did not work by any means. And he went into his henshin mode. And that was probably a little too early for him. I'm going to go ahead and hit mine as well. I'm going to back up and immediately hit the roar move. So, uh, wait a minute. It's not working. You have to wait 10 seconds to you. Oh, wait, never mind. I did hit it. So now if you wait, you, you can see all the hearts and stuff popping off, right? So now it should boost the HP. It is a little bit, but it's not by a lot. The last time I did it, it boosted it by like 2,000. Also, the guy ran, build his HP and I get jumped. Love that for me. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new Sibiru or whatever his name is. It's the Manda remodel. Let me know what you guys think of him and let me know if you like him and the way he fights in the comments. Personally, I think he can be pretty good if you continue to use him, you know, learn his moves and whatnot. For me personally, it's not my favorite Kaiju to use as far as like in a fight, but he does look like one of the coolest Kaijus, especially when you turn on his Henshin mode. And as you can see, it starts popping up like hearts on the back. So when you do hit that immediately, it starts healing. I don't really know. Let me know what you guys think of the, the monster in the comments. That's all we got today, though, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. I love y'all. Goodbye. I got a new fashion. This is a new day. Look at your boot camping. Riding a new